guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys a new ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. This is a new version of Jellybean 4.1. Uh, it is by Droid Theory. A lot of you guys know Droid Theory from the Theory ROMs, from uh, Motorola devices, and also on the Galaxy Nexus. He's been away from the development scene for about two months. He's been in recovery. A uh, freak accident happened, a roof caved in on him. And he's been in the hospital ever since, but he's out now. He's doing a lot better, so I know a lot of you guys who know Droid Theory, uh, you will be very excited to hear that. And I'm also excited for this Axiom Engage ROM. Now, like I said, this is mostly stock. There's been a few modifications. Uh, one you can see right off the bat here are the navigation buttons. Those have been modified. As far as theming goes, that's really the only theming options that have been changed. There's a few added applications. Uh, you do have Beats Control and you have the file manager there. Those come included and I think that's about it as far as inclusions and apps. You get an updated Super SU application which is pretty cool. Um, other than that we can run into settings and we'll go to about phone and you see that this is version 4.1. It's the Axiom Engage version 1 and I think version 2 is out by now so you can check the link in the description and I'm pretty sure that it is updated to version 2. Uh, but it does come with a stock kernel, and it's going to run at 1.2 gigahertz. This thing is blazing fast. Not only does it include uh, the Jelly Bean Project Butter enhancements, but it also includes Droid Theory's tweaks and mods. So you guys know that when he goes through there and works out all the kinks, it just really speeds up the system, and you can tell just how fast it is. Uh, but for now, this is basically a stock ROM. Uh, if you guys are looking for another option in Jelly Bean, I know most of you guys have been asking me to please do reviews on the Jelly Bean ROMs. And for now, we've got five or six that are out there, but they're mostly stock. And of course, uh, people are working on their modifications as we speak. So we've got a ton of new Jelly Bean ROMs coming out for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, if you stay tuned to this channel, you'll also see lots and lots of coverage on the Galaxy S3. Uh, but anyways, guys, this has been Axiom Engage. For the Galaxy Nexus, this is uh, one of the best Jelly Bean ROMs out for now. Uh, like I said, lots more to come with lots more customization. Guys, I'll show you guys how to install this really quickly. It doesn't come with a reboot option, so we'll power it off. Shut down the phone. You should already be on... Well, let's see. I guess you could update from Ice Cream Sandwich, actually. And if you guys have flashed a ROM before, then you already know the drill. Uh, we're just going to boot into recovery by holding both volume buttons down and the power button and we'll scroll to recovery select the power button now on some of the Jelly Bean ROMs it was I uh, mentioned that you should be on clockwork mod recovery uh, but you can flash this one in team win recovery project and it's it's gonna do just fine so the first thing you want to do here is go to wipe and factory reset Swipe to wipe. I'm pretty sure that these include wipes, but we're going to do it anyways, just to be safe. And swipe to wipe for cache. Swipe to wipe for Dalvik. And then you'll just go and install. And you're looking for the Axiom Engage. So Toro Axiom Engage version 2. And that's what you want to install. Make sure that's what you're flashing and swipe to flash. That's going to take about 5 minutes. When it's all finished, you'll reboot system. And then, of course, you'll see the new Jelly Bean boot animation if you haven't already. Pretty cool. It's also very simple. Uh, but anyways, guys, very exciting. We've got more development. This is why you guys should be happy that you have a Galaxy Nexus because you're going to get the first version of, or you're going to get the latest versions of Android as soon as they come out. So the SDK has not even been released to the public, so uh, Source has not even come out. It will be out later this month. Uh, but we already get to test it out on our devices, which is pretty cool. But anyways, guys, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to click on the subscribe button uh, right there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Leave comments below. I appreciate your comments. And also, you can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you in the next one.